Today's 2022 NFL Mock Draft is presented by Manscaped. You can get 20% off and free shipping on all their top-of-the-line men's grooming products. We thank Manscaped for sponsoring today's show. As it's time for my post-free agency Mock Draft. Number one overall, Aiden Hutchinson, the edge rusher out of Michigan. He is the heavy betting favorite. However, another name has suddenly emerged at number two, Trayvon Walker, the edge from Georgia, which, huh, I don't know about that one. Uh, look, guys that test in or look like him from an athletic standpoint go early. I get that. The Jags like Walker. I went with Hutchinson was only going to work out with one team. That was Jacksonville. That got canceled after the David Ajabo injury. So I think it's Hutchinson. Jags and Trent Falky. Maybe never say never. I don't have a great feel for what Detroit will do. If Hutchinson's there, I think he is the pick. Assuming he is not. And I thought about Kyle Hamilton. I thought about other edges. I don't think offensive line makes sense. You got to play those guys at guard. Who do you think the Lions draft at number two overall? Make your predictions for me right now in the comment section. I asked Texans fans Jeremy uh, Chuggs who he thought the Texans would take. He said Evan Neal. I think that makes sense. Titus Howard, I think, will play guard. Evan Neal slots in immediately as your right tackle, and you help build around Davis Mills. Plus, another first-round pick coming up. The Jets at four. I don't know what they're going to do. I could see receiver. I could see corner. I could see offensive line if they don't trust Makai Becton. I'm going to go with Kayvon Thibodeau. I think that the real smoke around him is unfair. I think he's going to be a really good NFL player, just like we heard similar smoke on Justin Herbert. Take, take Tibbs. Ika McWanu, number five to the New York Giants. This is a dream pick here for New York. One of the top two linemen fall. I think they would sprint to the podium with this pick. So of these big four, sorry, Thibodeau, type in over, think it's him. Who do you believe will be the number one pick in the 2022 NFL Draft? TW for Trayvon Walker, AH for Aiden Hutchinson, EN for Evan Neal, IE for uh, Ike McWanu, or O for a different prospect altogether. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, I want you guys to take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know who you think goes number one. I got Kenny Pickett, number six to Carolina. Do I have Malik Willis above Pickett? Yes, I do. But remember, teams and fits matter. Kenny Pickett has a previous relationship with Matt Rule, and Carolina, if they want to keep their head coach's job, has to win. Willis needs time. He needs development. Pickett helps you more right now, and desperation often makes picks go down. I was torn between Kyle Hamilton and Sauce Gardner here. I'm going to go Hamilton at number seven to the Giants. Give them an impact safety, the best player for me in this year's draft. And Giants now host Marshall Green, wanted him over Gardner as well. Number eight, Malik Willis off the board, number eight. Uh, the Falcons should not go QB, uh, but that organization I think is kind of in turmoil right now. And I think they have some time to bide for their QB. So take the upside pick. Go with Malik Willis and give your organization time to rebuild after, to be blunt, you botched the Matt Ryan quarterback conversation. Who is the first QB drafted? I think it's one of these three guys with more likely one of these two. I threw in Matt Corral because I could. I don't think he should go round one. None of these guys should go round one. Who's the first one then, though? Because QB desperation is real. Ask the commanders. KP for Kenny Pickett, MW for Malik Willis, or MC for Matt Corral. Charles Cross, number nine, to the Seattle Seahawks. There is your left tackle of the future. Kick the can down the road on the QBs. Sauce Gardner, who I believe the Jets are very high on. It's not their biggest need. Receiver could undoubtedly also be in play here for the New York Jets. But I think they like Gardner. And a Gardner, uh, DJ Reed can play nickel or outside. You've got uh, other Nichols and Braid Nichols and Michael Carter, not uh, other quarters and Braid Nichols, uh, Bryce Hall, my, my guy, Michael Carter, the cornerback one. Jets fix their defense with these two picks. Garrett Wilson, number 11. Uh, Ron Rivera was very closely watching the Ohio State Pro Day. I think they want to go receiver. 
Wilson's on the board. I think that's a logical pick for them. Today's show, powered by Manscaped. You can get the new Ultra Premium Collection for 20% off and free shipping when you use manscaped.com slash chat. That link will be in the comment section and in the description. You get body spray, body wash, shampoo and conditioner, two in one, because why use two of those for men? Come on. Lip balm and deodorant. Smells great, by the way. Manscaped.com slash chat. I love this fit. Team need-wise destination, I think Derek Stingley, who could be a top five corner in the NFL if he gets his head on right and stays healthy, love his fit in Minnesota. All right, back to Houston, number 13, the Deshaun Watson trade. Edge rusher Jermaine Johnson. I could see Johnson in the top 10. Uh, he had a, he is a technically a former Georgia player, so that kind of counts as the greatest Georgia player in ever, or defense in ever. I think you get some edge rusher help, and I could see Houston going O-line early, or edge early. If not, Johnson 13 makes a lot of sense. Linderbaum. I worry about his scheme fit for some, but he's an awesome football player. So, yeah, plug him in at center day one. Boom, did it. All right, Eagles back-to-back -back picks here. Jordan Davis at number 15. We'll hit Trent McDuffie as well. Um, I talked to some Eagles fans I know here in the, in the offices. No names. Jordan Davis... With long-term questions around their current defensive tackles, it's BPA, build the trenches. And Jordan Davis is going to be a top 17 pick when it's all said and done. And guys fall in the draft. That's what has to happen if the tackles and edges go early. Davis at 15, I like. McDuffie won't be a scheme fit for everyone, but he's sticky. He's a good football player. So Eagles are going to win this year's draft with three first-round picks, barring another trade. Now, who do, you, excuse me, who do you think, as I almost cough violently on air like an idiot, who do you think is the most overrated NFL draft prospect? You can be a hater now in the comment section. Let me know the most overrated draft prospect this year. I did not plan for this guy to fall to 17, Trevor Penning, but he fell, uh, and it takes care of the right tackle spot. Coaches will love him. I think this is more of where he should go. I would not be shocked in any capacity if a team like the, the Texans or the Jets take tackle early if Penning goes top 10. All right, Drake London, number 18 to the Saints. Get them a big-bodied-ish outside threat. They need receiver help for whoever their QB is long-term. Traylon Burks out of Arkansas. You've got the skinny outside guy in Devonta Smith. And the thick boy slot guy in Traylon Burks. That's a compliment, by the way. Uh, Burks was used like Debo Samuel at Arkansas. Not the athlete that Debo is, of course. But I think he'd be a good fit in Philadelphia in that RPO-style offense. If you want nonstop coverage of NFL free agency, trades, and the entire 2022 NFL draft live here on Chat Sports, you guys have come to the right spot. Hit that big red button and subscribe right now. Daxton Hill is my pick, and this might surprise some Steelers fans, and I get it. It's a bit outside the box here. I'm looking for a safety if I'm Pittsburgh, because I, I I got one starter for sure in Minka Fitzpatrick. I want to replace Terrell Edmonds ASAP. Now, Daxton Hill played a lot of nickel. He's not built like your typical strong safety, but I think he could play that type of role. So Daxton Hill, maybe he goes late round one. This would be a bit of a surprise pick. Pickett was gone. I wouldn't be surprised if Pittsburgh trades up for a, a QB early. I think you could mention Daxon Hill here, though, as a bit of an outside-the-box surprise pick. Chris Olave, 21, out of Ohio State to the Patriots. Congrats, Chuck. I got you a receiver. By the way, the dark horse pick for the, for the Patriots, offensive guard. Jamison Williams, 22 to Green Bay. How about some speed to replace Marquez Valdez-Scantling? Williams is an absolute burner, and had he been healthy, he might have been my wide receiver one. But there's a slight ding in a very strong receiver class for Williams. When it comes to the receivers, who do you believe is the best wide receiver in the NFL draft? Is it Wilson, Olave, Williams, Burks, London, somebody else altogether? Let me know right now in the comments section. Arizona, 23, George Karloftis. Decent testing overall, which I think makes me feel better about him. They need pass rush help really bad. Karloftis can help them there. 
Kenyon Green, who Joe Philbin, the Cowboys O-line coach, watched closely at his pro day. And Jerry Jones straight up said that they're looking offensive line early in this year's class. One of my guys, Kair Elam, out of Florida to Buffalo. This is maybe the only pick in round one that I think makes sense to potentially go running back this year. But corner's a bigger need. You can get a similar play in round two. Take the corner, Buffalo, please. Zion Johnson then plugs in day one starter on the left side of the offensive line at left guard for Tennessee. Receiver also in play, but let's build that off those trenches up there. Trenches also for Tampa. Devontae White, who could sneak in top 20, by the way. I don't know if Ndamukong Sue comes back. A Vita Vea, Devontae Wyatt, interior D-line grouping. Ooh, that's, that's sexy, man. All right, Devin Lloyd. Hey, Packers don't take receivers. They don't take linebackers either. We're breaking trends today. Lloyd fell in this particular mock. Stuff happens. Weird things go down. It's a, big, it's a great pick for Green Bay. Jahan Dotson out of Penn State, part of two Chiefs picks that uh, I did not intend to, but it's happened that way. Back-to-back -back PSU players. Dotson at wide receiver. Maybe it's a Sky Moore or Christian Watson there. And Arnold Ebikati out of Penn State with David Ajabo's Achilles. I think Ebikati sneaks into the back end of round one. Andrew Booth out of Clemson to Cincinnati. They need another corner, and they get a good one back end of round one who's got number one corner upside out of Clemson. And perhaps my favorite pick of round one, Kobe Dean out of Georgia to the Detroit Lions. Still a need for them. And Dean's an awesome, Alabama undersized linebacker from the best defense in ever at Georgia. We're going to get to my non-first round picks. But first, read my mock draft. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know right now in the comment section. Let's talk teams without a first round pick. This is a quarter of the NFL teams have no first round pick. That is absolutely insane. Sky Moore, a potential number one receiver for the Chicago Bears. Yeah, I said it. Alec Pierce, one of my guys out of Cincinnati. I love the outside game and the vertical threat ability. Oh, I want him so bad. Travis Jones out of UConn. That is a very Browns pick. Get a run clogger who is showed a little bit more pass rush than Jordan Davis did. Send tweet. All right, my Jay Sanders, edge out for Cincinnati, dipped significantly weight-wise at the combine. He had pretty bad food poisoning or an illness there. Back up to normal weight. He'd be a nice fit opposite Bosa. Quay Walker, linebacker out of Georgia. Look, I think there is an outside chance we will do some we will do some sleepers in terms of potential surprise round one picks. I could see Quay Walker going closer to 32 than he does 64. Nicholas petit Friere out of Ohio State, maybe an option at right tackle, but on day three, the options get start, start, start to get thin. Troy Anderson out of Montana State. The Dolphins pick 102. I'm trying to find help for you. Uh, you're picking out the top one. You're not going to get an instant impact player. And Marquise Hayes, a potential guard option for the Rams out of Oklahoma.